Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll be unboxing and test fitting the Raphael Gundam by How You Studio. This is quite an obscure kit and seems like a lot of people didn't know what this kit was from. And this is actually from the 00 series and is the third Gundam piloted by Tieria. So you have the Virtue and then Sarah V and then Raphael. And this kit is made by How You Studio and is a full resin kit, meaning no base kit is required. But a full resin kit that transforms is the recipe for disaster, which I'll talk about later. So let's unbox the kit. You'll find in the box quite a lot of parts, as again this is a full resin kit. So there are parts for joints and skeleton etc. And on top of that, the Raphael Gundam is actually two Gundams in one. So you have parts for two whole Gundams here basically. I would say the casting is actually really clean. I would have thought this was 3D printed and thought for the pouring taps. But you can argue it's because the details are quite simple so there are less casting defects by default. Another positive is that they give you quite a lot of spare parts. For example here, they give you two heads for each Gundam and also two rifles for each hand as well. Few, quite a few magnetic LEDs and a sheet of metallic sticker, which is very nice. There are two LEDs that do really cool spinning effects for the GN drives and the other are just static. Next is the water slides. These actually don't come with the kit by default and need to be purchased separately, which is in great. So let's look at the manual now. In the first two pages show a list of tools that you need for a resin kit. And on the right page it shows how to apply glue to thicken the joints, which is not a good sign because it's telling you that the parts are going to be really loose. The instruction itself is pretty box standard and the construction itself is pretty simple. And for the transformation, it only shows you half of it, which is quite strange, but you can pretty much work out the rest yourself. After that is the color guide and placements for the metallic stickers. It would have been nicer to have a more detailed guide pictures and not just front and back of the entire kit. And the rest of the manual is showing instruction for the Dominion expansion, which isn't even out yet. And quite strangely, there's no decal guide in the book, and I had to go find it online instead. And this is only the beginning of the downsides of this kit, but we'll get into it later. It also comes with two stands, which is great, and they also have some sick graphics at the base. But the problem is that you can't paint the base because of it. So. Let's get the kit built. So the biggest issue I encountered is that this kit is very simple in terms of engineering. The majority of the parts don't have any connection points, so most of the parts are not connected to each other. And it feels like most of the effort is spent on the looks and not a whole lot on the experience of the builders. So you will need to pretty much pin every single part together yourself. Honestly, it's quite disappointing comparing this to the experience I had with the third day buster. And because the kit transforms as well, gluing the parts simply won't be enough, so a lot of work is required to get the kit to stand up on its own. Another bizarre design choice I've found is the base connector. If you have used the stand before, you know that they connect at the bottom, so that the kit is sitting on the base. But no, not for this one. This one connects at the top. Which means the weight of the kit is held purely by friction. And this is hugely baffling to me because all it takes is a little pull and it will come off. 
So just who the hell thought it was appropriate to do that? And for the joints that move, every one of them has to be thickened by applying glue and wait for it to dry. So this is how it, the kit looks snapped up. It looks pretty amazing, but the details are quite lacking in certain places. But overall, I would say this kit is still a good one and worth the money given how much resin you get and how many accessories they provide to you. And to sum it up, the only downside really is the work needed to make the kit stable. But it isn't that difficult and I'd rather have loose fitting than parts shrinkage or bad casting. The transformation is quite easy to do. But again, everything needs to be tightened, otherwise this isn't possible. And here is the two Gundams combined together. So I'm quite excited to paint this one, and I hope you are too. So that's it for this video, and see you in the next one.